It's time! All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart with the same height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Championship of the world. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 194 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Merciless. And now it's reducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Apex. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. All right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice leg kick. Oh man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Takedown defense holds up. Nice leg kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Big body kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just missed with the left there. Big kick. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big head kick. How good is that right hand? All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look 
at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Got the single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big kick lands. Over and over, he's landed on big body kicks. Right hand punch to the And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Good punch land. Ooh, right hand down the middle. tie here and they separate combination lands for him it was hard to see a miss in that sequence he's put it all together I mean everything is just flowing he's like in a zone it's like the basketball becomes twice its size this guy today is looking at both dispens in his opponent real quick leg kick See if he can finish. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. That is how you scramble, folks. Punch over the top. Blocks the shot to the body. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. What a body. Final seconds here. Good stick. What a tricky head kick. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Checks the leg kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Great punch, landed with so much power. He lands a switch knee. Big power shot there. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Spinning back fist. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Big head kick land. Back and forth we go. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. All right, single collar tie now. He engages in a single collar tie here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check them, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, so he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. 
slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, that's a nice strike. Single collar tie there. Just trying to kick the leg out. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That was a bloody blade kick. Single collar tie now. Beautiful work with the knees in the clinch. And they separate. Great punch. Muay Thai plump. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Oh, huge elbow! Oh, he's out! He's done! He's done! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knock. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has going to stop for this contest. At four minutes, 37 seconds of round number two, playing the winner by knockout and still. Still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.